Welcome, if you're new here, my name is Polly. Today, I'm out here at the GPAA Golden Treasure Show in Puyallup, Washington. We're gonna be walking around, talking to a few people, basically showing you the whole event and just having some fun. So let's go. So I started the day by walking around, chatting with people, and checking out the vendors. How's it going? There was just so much to look at, it was easy to get distracted. I gotta start making jewelry. Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. This is the metal detector I uh, used the most when I first started and found all my, my first nuggets. There you go. Amazing. I like gold. You guys having fun? Yeah. Nice fun and gold. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, my name is Paul. Um, people know me as Piner Polly on YouTube or in Facebook and such. How I got to that position, I have no idea. I grew up with tons of anxiety and depression. It was pretty bad at one point. While at this event, I host what I call the indoor campfire, where as you can see, I gather people around, tell stories, answer questions, and just hang out. I could never keep a job. I was always you know, bullied. I also got to walk around, hang out with some of the vendors, and just see what people were up to. What's going on, everybody? Dig Daddy, Backyard Prospect, and out here at the uh, GPAA Gold Show, having a great time, checking out all the booths and vendors, getting some pay dirt and gold. <laughs> got some weirdo hanging around me here. Uh... <laughs> My name is Connor Ingalls. I am the owner of Ingalls Gems. We are a silversmithing company located here in Puyallup, Washington. Kind of got into it from gold mining, which led into rock hounding. And then we got into lapidary, so cutting our own stones and silversmithing. And been doing it for about a year full time now. It's been a lot of fun. I was uh, sniping, I was doing well, I found a couple nuggets, got it on the GoPro and I was like, okay, I got holes in my boots now because you're always moving the gravel around. So I'm laying up on this bedrock bench and my hands and bodies in the water. I'm laying right here and sniping in the river right here and my foot must have knocked down my snuffer bottle. My feet are up there whacking things around, holding onto trees and I knock the bottle over. So, oh, there's another piece, come up, gone. I'm like, oh, okay, nice. So then I go across the river, get another one, come back, gone. I'm like, oh, can I borrow your snuffer bottle? So I borrow his. And you're lost. Gone. So lost a lot of gold that day. Polly is busy inside. I'm gonna steal the schluvel from his car and go use it in the panning area. Let's go. So this is Quaid. When I was here at the Gold Show about four or five years ago, right after I got back from Australia, Quaid was here to greet me, and he's back again five years later. How's it going? Good. How you doing? Good. Good. I wanted that autograph this year. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I actually did an autograph for somebody, and I stole their pen by accident. Hey, how's it going, guys? Tamara and Campbell here, out here at the GPAA show in Puyallup, Washington. Brought 24 grams of gold to give away to all the kids and the people participating today. Are you guys finding anything? No, I'm Nothing yet. Try Ryan, here, let's put some nuggets in your pan, man. You'll be able to suck those out with your bottle, okay? Share that experience with your bottle. Don't dump it in there, though. <laughs> we don't want to lose them. They're too hard to find. Some of my best memories growing up as a child are with my grandfather dredging in the river in Northern California. Just trying to give back, and I uh, feel like the hobby is uh, very interesting, and I'd love to see more people get involved, and that's why I'm here today. Here, you want to want a couple there? Thank you. Yeah, no problem. My pleasure. You guys finding anything in there? You trying real hard? Hard. Got to get some sand in there. There you go. Here, check out this pan. Try this guy right here. Make sure we don't dump it out. We don't want to lose anything that's in there. Wow! We want to save them. Those are really hard to find. They're really special. Here, buddy, check this pan out. There's some gold in there. You want this pan? Is it right if I give it to him? There you go. Just don't dump it out, because I think I see some in there. Your dad could probably help you there. Here, there's some good stuff. You got a bottle. It's probably better than me. You can suck some of that out and keep it. Oh, really? Yeah, no sweat, buddy. Nice, thanks, dude. Awesome. I think 
I see something shiny. Could it be? Is there's gold in there? What is that? Oh my god. No way. Look at that. Oh my Big god, nugget. Tony. It works. Oh, yes. Oh my god. What a nugget. I hope it doesn't look. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh hi, Paul. Oh, I, no, oh, I thought you said it was okay. I can. Uh, Dave here from Gold Bay Pater just gave me a beautiful gold specimen. Because he's Dave. What the? Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. That is a painted rock. Someone wow. said. Wow. I know somebody who would love this gold painted rock, Kitty. Yeah. yeah. You want to get your mind blown? My mind blown? You want to get. I'm going to film you. I do want to get my mind blown, people. It's probably going to be gold. So Jeez. hold the rock on the side. Oh, we got to make this transfer. So you can hold the rock itself. Oh, my goodness. $10? $10 sold. <laughs> this one came out next to it. This is the other part of the van. Hey, oh my goodness. Here. Oh, Another one. I, I'm not even ready. <laughs> I want to touch it. Woo! <laughs> Just yeah. those details formed naturally. So after walking around a bit, I met somebody named Mike. Good. Like, subscribe. He showed me some gold nuggets. Two trans. It's an Aussie. This is a beautiful nugget. Wow, look at that. Then invited me in for an interview, which I actually found pretty fun. I'm like that normally. Right. It's awkward and weird. Right. I'll leave a link to that video down below. Good to see you. Ah, to good to see you too. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Hey, I'm sorry, man. You know me. You know, oh, of course. I, you know I always have to jump in and take care of these things. Okay, I went here. Okay, that was rude. Something I've learned is you never want to get lost in the light. It's one thing to film yourself by yourself, but it's another thing to experience the other side of the camera and get to meet those who lifted you up along the way. Whether they're an experienced prospector or future prospector, you cannot ignore their love. After all, without them, you are nothing. Uh, How you doing? Good, good. I like the shirt. As for the rest of the gold Tamron and I were giving away, we gave it to the family that was hanging by my side the entire day. Just one way I could give back. Uh, like I said earlier, I still have anxiety and depression and all those sad stuff, but doing these events really helped me kind of get out and share my stories with you. And without you guys being here, I would not be able to do this. So again, I thank you so much for your support and uh, love you all. Yeah, so thank you, yeah. Good, great, man. Thank you so much for watching this video and sticking around. I would not be able to attend these events without you. Now for some exciting news. Over 90% of all the footage I've ever taken on my videos are outtakes and bloopers, and now I have a place to put them. After years of not wanting to, I have finally decided to open up a Patreon account where you can see all the extra footage I have taken and put it in a place for you to enjoy. Introducing the Schlubel. Oh, Schlubel. What am I, what am, what am I saying introducing? Introducing the Schlubel. Schl Schlubel. I have outtakes, bloopers, and even things I will be giving away shortly. Now, I only just started it, but rest assured, in time, there's gonna be a pile of content that nobody has seen before, more perks for you guys, and I imagine there's gonna be more content on there than anywhere else. Also, no hard feelings if you don't wanna support, that's okay, I still love you. Thank you all for watching, thank you so much for your support, and until the next one, Black Screen with Logo.